Okay, Elisa, how you doing? I've got your Portland 2022 lined up right here. This is good. Uh, opening page looks really good. Um, I think it's very, very clean. My only suggestion is this, is you are going to use this color blue. Um, so using the color blue, I'm talking about the, this, this stripe, this, this horizontal stripe towards the bottom of the presentation. Um, first of all, I would move that down a little bit because right now you're, you're losing about, geez, almost 20 to 30 percent of your layout page just by putting that in. It just doesn't seem like it's worth the um, uh, investment. So I, I would reconsider that. Um, I know that you've used those chevrons and the color, and I think that's really important. I just think that I, to me, it's not worth the investment that, that, that what you're losing in order to put this through the bottom. You're losing too much of your layout at the bottom of your page. Let's go through the presentation. Okay, this looks good. As I was saying about the blue, now, if this is the blue in your logo, that's awesome. But what I would do is I would either adjust, I would adjust this image um, to make that blue more close in match to that blue right there. You can do it. I mean, it's really easy to do in Photoshop. What I was going to say, the other alternative is typically what you would do is, but since this is a blue from a logo, typically what you can do to make a graphic um, uh, harmonious in color to a image is to sample one of the colors out of the image and use that for the graphic. I would shoot for one of these blues right up in here. Not quite the sky, not quite the bottom, the first layer of mountains, but like somewhere in that mid layer of mountains. I have blue in there somewhere. Next page, please. Let's go to this page. Okay, now this is odd because you've got two images. You got two images that are shown at two completely different sizes. However, there's no reason to show these at two different sizes. Let's get this the same size as this. Treat your um, your your uh, typography the same. Here you've got a, a. This is clearly a caption on the bottom. Um, of the, the image, and this one is not clearly a, a caption, and it's in the interior of the image. Okay, so we really need to get those consistent. Likewise here, choose a presentation and stick with it. Um, these, all these odd sizes images, they're, they're just really throwing off the presentation. So there's no reason why not to stick an image and stay with that format. I don't mean stick an image, I just throw it in there. I mean that side right there and stay with it through um, the presentation. You know, put your image there, push your type below, image there, type below. So it's very, very consistent from page to page. Now you're setting up this cadence, this timing that your viewer is going to start to use from page to page. So if you abruptly change it, your viewer is going to get jarred and that they don't realize it, but that is called uncomfortable visual tension. And, and it, it, it's, it, it, the, the viewer definitely feels it. It's, it's mostly a victim to um, um, inconsistency in page layout and page um, grid. Okay, so, so back to the images in the first part of your program. That's what I would do. Our mission statement, this is a pretty important. So I'd like to see some kind of typography here. And these images, I'm not real sure if they are going to interfere with your mission statement page. Um, so really think about the mission statement page as something that you might want to key in on. And this looks like this would be the end of this series of presentations right here. So I would consider using a full spread for your mission statement. Uh, this is where this is really where I think your your presentation really really shows its strength, and that's just this development. And I'm really glad that you decided to, to use this development. In um, <laughs> and this is a this is a really good logo, um, Elisa. It's really good. Um, it tells so many stories, and it's just look. Here's the reality. If I look at this logo, I don't have any clue what it is, right? No, I don't. I don't know that these are mountains and that these are buildings. I don't know that until I'm told. When I'm told, I can go, oh, wow, that's slick. And that's how design works. You don't have to, like, in your face show your audience exactly. I mean, you can take chances like you did here and, and, and be abstract. And, and, and kudos to this. I just love the, the way that you approach this. 
Oh, yeah, listen, let's get these keyed in. I'd like to get these on a full page by themselves, okay? These are good. <laughs> these are good. Ski jumping, that looks kind of rough. I'm not sure. Let's, let's clean that guy up. Uh, hockey. I like that you're facing on. All your guys are kind of facing you, too, except for the bobsled. That, that would be hard to make a bobsled face you because it would just be like a, a circle and a circle. Um, cross country. They have they, they use poles, so give that guy a pole. Figure skating. Well, you got two figure skatings here, so uh, luge. Good. 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 Alpine skiing, they use um, poles, so... Curling's great. Biathlon, awesome! Ski jumping needs help and freestyle. Eh, yeah, the freestyle looks good, but let's key those those um, skis in so we know there are skis up there. But, yeah, full page on those are awesome. Uh, more stuff, more tickets. Let's get a couple more tickets in here, and let's get some... Um, I, I want you to do some some graphics, okay? Some graphics like finish line graphics and and and, and brochure cover graphics. Um, um, you know the the program. The, the, when you go to the event, you get the program, the cover, um, the tickets, of course, the, um, um, the the banners in Olympic Village, the the the. the graphics on the sides of the panels that go down the ski slope uh, hills, the, um, the graphics on the jumps, the graphics on the inside of the hockey rink, the graphics on the inside of the figure skating rink. So, so you know, things like that. And, um, you know, I've used the Calgary. I've used the Calgary Winter Olympic example as a, an example of excellence over and over because this is the best Olympic graphics ever and there's no question about that in my mind and in the mind of ever of, of many 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 professional designers that I know as well this is the apex of Olympic graphics shoot for this use use these ideas for for your different um, kind of signages and all sorts of different kinds of Things that can even to bolster your presentation. Okay, cool. Awesome job. Love it. Love it. Love it. Looking forward to seeing the final. Good job, man. Thank you very much. You're an awesome student. I really enjoy having you in class. So hopefully I will see you again soon. Okay, thanks, Louise. Bye.